If you're in sales, I want to show you this quick trick using WhatsApp to generate appointments, conversations, and inquiries out of the gate. So very briefly, I'm going to assume you know what WhatsApp is. It's got huge open rates. People are very responsive on it. And if you're not using it, you're missing out. So without further ado, let's get into it. And let me show you, regardless of industry or niche, how you could start using WhatsApp to message, for example, 10, maybe 20 people a day, and from that, start generating a couple of appointments a day. Let's get into it. So I'm just going to share my screen. <clears throat> so the first thing that you need, of course, is a series of mobile phone numbers. So I'm just going to share with you a example of a list that we built for a client, okay? Now, the real thing that you need is the phone number. So let's just take Pitar as an example. Now, one of the challenges that you will face certainly in our company, practically speaking, is that if you're doing outreach for a different brand or company, then you will have the challenge of having to change your actual WhatsApp profile. So if I take the example of myself for the moment, let's see if I can find my own profile. Here we go. Let's have a look at business tools, business profile. And you see there's all of my information here. If you're a sales rep, just remove all of that information. Keep the image the same, keep it yellow, but you can remove that information, thus doing away with the problem that you might encounter of people thinking that you re represent an individual company. So having nothing here other than your name allows you to then message on any company's behalf. So that will get around challenge number one that my team might face practically when we do cold call or message clients. That's point number one. Point number two is that what I'm using at the moment is a WhatsApp CRM. It's called Lem CRM. It's out all. It's pretty cool. It's pretty useful. Just you can just go ahead and download it. I've not even got it saved in my browser. There you go. But yeah, just head over to Lem CRM and you can go ahead and install the actual Chrome plugin here. Now, let's just take any phone number. We'll grab this phone number, go, jump into here. And this lady is called, this lady, this gentleman's called Pitar. And what we'll do is just double check this. And yet Pitar, as we can see, is on WhatsApp. So this is going to be contacting people cold. Doing this at scale will get your account <clears throat> banned. But there is a way to develop a pretty rapid process to ensure that you can message people ultimately pretty at a pretty rapid click clip on a daily basis. So in this instance, let's just assume that we're selling we're selling Pitar PPC services and I'm messaging from Pearl Lemon. So what we do in this instance is take in the ultimately company here and his information. We probably begin something to the effect of, and let me just jump into a different platform. That's my browser. What I'd probably do is dive into, and this is the beginnings of this process. I dive into ChatGPT. Let's just dive into here. And then what I would do is please put together a series of initial introductions that I could use for WhatsApp messaging. I'm going to be contacting people cold on WhatsApp. And the message that I want to, let's see if it's coming. Here we go. Let's start again. Let's delete that part there. Please put together. And the initial message that I will begin with will be something to the effect of, hey, X. And then they will, of course, ask who's this or what do you want or something along those lines. And then we will say something to the effect of, I'll be honest, I just found your details on LinkedIn and thought I'd drop you a message. My name is X and I'm just thought that WhatsApp would be a good way to quickly message you. Part of my job is trying to generate appointments for the business that I work 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 for. The reason I got in touch is being honest, I looked at your LinkedIn profile and I really think that what we do could be of pretty decent benefit to to your company. Can I just basically explain what it is over a voice note if that's okay? Based upon this scenario, give me four different potential intros that I could use that are variations of this to split test. So guys, as you can see, it's not that I am 100% sure for those of you who are watching, because this is a very new strategy. So I'm sharing it with you live to give you a sense of something that you could copy and paste in. So once you've got this copy and pasted message, all you need to do now is 
voice note and save a voice note elevator pitch and give them the pitch. And that's all that you need to do. So what I would now do is say, hey, and let's just take this script. So I'd say, hey, sorry, is this Patar? So it'd be something to the effect of, hey. And we'd obviously modify it. Is this, because what we're going for is being, remember what our lessons learned from cold calling, being polite, being really nice tends to give you or give people room to reply to you. So we take this message and no one is going to block you or very, people are very unlikely to block you instantly with uh, initial intro like that. So then what we do, of course, is we've got our list of numbers and we quickly begin by, and, we, and, and we, we could also even extend it further out by saying, is this Pitar from X by any chance? But of course you can't copy and paste that and you want it to be seem personal. So actually on balance, I've already got a reply. So now what I'm going to do is try this. And I don't really like this. Would you open to, I, I, I will probably adapt it who this might be. Now I'm going to just try a voice note instantly to see what happens. Let's give it a go. Pitar, how you, well, thank you, first of all, for confirming. Uh, Pitar, my name's Deepak. I'm, you know what? I just found your details on, let me, first of all, find out what company he's part of, because I've not even checked that, to be honest with you. Let's have a look. Now, you, of course, you'll have different questions about how to save it, how to remember it, and all of these kinds of things. But let's have a look. He's a director at Web Design R R T C Limited in Bracknell. So they do web design. And let's have a look if they don't do SEO, because then in theory, I could say, hey, we're an SEO company. And of course, because we're finding mobile phone numbers from LinkedIn, we can say that your phone, mobile phone number is on LinkedIn. So we see that they don't do SEO. So I'll just... Go in and drop him a note. Let's go back to WhatsApp. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Sorry, yeah, Patel, my name's Deepak. You know what? I just honestly found your company details on LinkedIn, and I noticed that you run a web design a web design and development company. I think you're based out in Bracknell. So, yeah, long story short, I'm, I'm messaging because I'm, I'm part of an SEO agency. And two things. So number one, we're looking for partners because we get some inquiries that aren't always a good fit for us. And then also we're looking at potentially just building a partnership with uh, web design and development agencies because we get some SEO inquiries and we have clients that come in and want, want web development. So yeah, I just thought I'd message you on LinkedIn. Uh, on, I say I found you on LinkedIn. I thought I'd message you on WhatsApp, to be honest with you, just to see off on the off chance that you might be up for a chat. Uh, feel free, sorry, to ignore this message and apologies if it seems rude. Uh, but yeah, let me know, buddy. Thank you. Now what I do is I will take that voice note because now we have our partnership pitch, if you will. And you will maybe, I recommend four or five times developing variations of it. That is the wrong tool. So he's already listened, as you can see. Let's see what reply that we get because we're doing this live for the first time. But I'll go over to transcribe me because that automatically transcribes voice notes, which is a really incredible tool if you're not using it. I think they're an Argentinian outfit looking at that. So anyway, I'm getting, I'm putting the transcription and now what I'll do is I will take that into ChatGPT and say that, okay, so now I've had a reply from a prospect just asking who this might be, and I have sent a pitch across to him. I'm going to send you the transcript now. Based upon this transcript, can you spin up four further variations that match my natural language pattern so that I could have some different examples to use for different pitches, please? Just correct that typo, put that in. Well, we'll let it do its thing. Talk to my partner. Here we go. Success. Hey, pal. Amazing. Brilliant. Could I be so rude as to uh, grab Colleen's phone number from you? What I could do is maybe do a little WhatsApp group with us. Or if you prefer, I just directly DM Colleen. I can I can just drop her a message on WhatsApp. What What, what works best for you, bud? So look, there you go. I got it. There you go, guys. So there's, you know what, buddy, you're ahead of the game. I've got, you've given me her number, no problem. I'll, I'll, I'll drop Kalina note, mate. Thank you. So it's Deepak again. And yeah, I'll, I'll drop her a message. 
now, basically. So, guys, there you have it. I'll let you all fill in the blanks, but in a nutshell, that's WhatsApp lead generation. And what do you know? I got a lead with my first ever attempt at WhatsApp lead generation.